Just let me know if I'm audible, guys. Uh, can you just quickly confirm if I'm audible? Just can you quickly confirm if I'm audible? Uh, looks like yes, we are audible, or are we? No. Uh, audible, guys. Am I audible? audible cool let's let's wait for everyone to join in cool let's let's wait till everyone joins in and then probably we'll get started lag is there a lag is there a lag i'm not sure if there is a lag can you just confirm if there is a lag is there an audio delay audio delay hai kya? let me check if there is audio delay Thoda delay to hai. lag is there a lag is there a lag? I'm not sure if there is a lag. Can you just confirm if there is a lag? I don't see there is a lag. I think lag to nahi hai. I, I see it perfectly. Sliding window ki uh, masterclass kab aayegi? Sliding window ki masterclass. Chalo le aate. Really, I'm, I'm thinking of bringing a graphs masterclass. After that, we will bring a uh, sliding windows masterclass. Okay? Haan, aake thodi lal hogi. Aaj bhoat kaam tha. Easily. There was a lot of work today, that is why, that is why. Okay, guys, uh, before starting, let me introduce uh, you myself, just in case you don't know. My name is Raj Vikramaditya. I'm known as Striver in the programming community. I'm a competitive programmer by nature. Currently, I'm working as a software engineer and I'm a candidate master at Code Forces. Also, I'm a six star rated coder at Code Chef. I have been teaching from the uh, past two years. I also run a, a YouTube channel which has around 1 lakh plus subscribers the subjects that i generally take are competitive programming data structure algorithms and uh, everything that's related to interview preparation so if you're looking to take anything at an academy do use the coupon code uh, striver and yeah uh, going forward uh, uh, there's this career as a uh, software developer subscription uh, on which you'll get a lot of mock interviews uh, placement talks hr talks uh, project review resume review a lot of other things you'll get under the subscription it comes at triple uh, nine for one year and if you're using the coupon code striver you're gonna get that at eight double nine for one year that is what you will get and also there is something which is college projects a show that happens every friday night at 10 pm where i review uh, projects i interact one is to one and everything again comes under the career as a developer subscription Okay, uh, and also there is another Code Chef Apprentice which happens every Saturday afternoon at 2 p.m. Again, uh, uh, it, it, it is taken by Saya Vinas, who is a software engineer at Google and is also a 7 star at Code Chef. And there's this my batch which is going on. Probably my next batch will start around November. And if you haven't joined the Telegram group yet, uh, you can definitely check out the Telegram uh, link. Like the group link is in the description. Uh, right at the end, uh, if you are, if you're new to this channel, do consider subscribing. If you have not liked the stream, you can definitely like the stream. And yes, uh, ghanti baja dena. Okay, ghanti baja dena. Cool. Uh, thoda sa hang to kar raha hai. Pata nahi kyu hang kar raha hai, but okay. Thoda sa lenge. Let me uh, let me just start off with thoda hang kar raha hai. Mera 
लैपटॉप आज पर ठीक है अगे लीड कोड बाई वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट सिक्सटी वन इज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एंड यानो स्टार्ट ऑफ दी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो लेट स्टार्ट ऑफ दी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके लेट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट ऑफ दी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो आई गिव यू सम टाइम टू गो थ्रू द क्वेश्चन एंड वॉन्स यू आर अंडरस्टूड द क्वेश्चन प्रॉब्लम यू कैन टेल मी यू अंडरस्टूड द क्वेश्चन सो दैट आई कैन स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग दिस गो थ्रू द क्वेश्चन थोड़ा लैग आ रहा है क्या मुझे लग रहा है थोड़ा लैग आ रहा है आई फील देर इज सम लैग हाँ देर इज सम लैग देर इज सम लैग मैन मुझे ऑडियो सिंग नहीं हो रहा है तुम लोग को लैग आ रहा है क्या तुम लोग को लैग आ रहा है पहले ये मेरे को कंफर्म कर दो लैग नहीं आ रहा है ना पहले ये कंफर्म कर दो देन वील गेट स्टार्ट Lagging sometimes ah ah आ रहा है अभी शायद अभी ठीक हो गया चिल करो अभी ठीक हो गया चिल करो अभी ठीक हो गया अभी आई थिंक दैट्स करेक्ट आई थिंक अभी सही है अभी ठीक है अभी ठीक है अभी ठीक है ये सही कर ले तो बीच बीच में हाँ वो थोड़ा शायद ए सी बंद था ए सी में बंद करके थोड़ा बाहर गया था इसीलिए ए सी चला दिया अभी लैग नहीं आएगा टेम्परेचर कम कर देता हूँ द मैक बुक हीट्स अब थर्टी फाइव डिग्री स्टार्ट लैगिंग so room temperature has to be under 35 otherwise okay so count numbers uh, with absolute difference uh, k given an integer array nums and an integer k uh, return the number of pairs i comma j where i is uh, definitely lesser than j such that uh, nums of i minus uh, nums of j is equal to equal to k so how will you do this सावली डू दिस एनी आइडिया हाउ यू डू दिस कैसे करोगे कोई आइडिया कैसे करोगे सो बेसिकली दे वॉन्ट द पेयर्स सो आई कैन से दिस इज अ पेयर बिकॉज वन कॉमर टू सो इफ यू टेक टू सॉरी वन माइनस टू दैट्स वन मॉड्यूलो एंड इफ यू टेक दिस वन एंड दिस टू दैट्स ऑल्सो गिविंग यू सो देर आर फोर पेयर्स दैट आर कैटेगरीली हाईलाइटेड बाई बोल्ड सो देर आर फोर पेयर्स कैटेगरीली हाईलाइटेड बाई बोल्ड so you need to figure out the pairs so uh, the first solution that definitely comes to my mind is question clear hai kya is the question clear to everyone like well, question clear hai ki nahi bata do uh, fir shuru karta hu is the question clear to everyone is the question clear to everyone is the question clear to everyone the question clear to everyone Sort and two pointer, okay. Someone is saying DP. Ah, uh-huh, DP kya lagana hai? Mab, itna itna tough kyu karna hai question ko? DP kyu? Mab, matlab easily to ho jayega. Tum sorting and two pointer laga doge to hi to ho jayega. Brute force is n square. Yeah, brute force is n square where you iterate on all the pairs of uh, i comma j. Arey yeah, hang kyu kar raha? Bak. Just get me a moment. I'll restart the stream. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, I'm back now. I think this will not. ये थोड़ा OBS का दिक्कत था थोड़ा OBS का दिक्कत था बट अब शायद दिक्कत नहीं होगा अब चल रहा है थोड़ा थोड़ा ओ बी एस का थोड़ा पंगा हो रहा था आई थिंक दिस इज ओके ना दिस इज ओके गाइज जस्ट क्विकली कंफर्म इफ इट इज ओके हाँ सो द फर्स्ट सोल्यूशन दैट कम्स टू माई माइंड इज डेफिनेटली वेर आई हैव टू काउंट इक्वल टू जीरो so for everyone who's uh, who's uh, asking question nahi samajh mein aaya uh, it's very simple you have to count the number of pairs so basically uh, if i just uh, take my ipad out and yahan pe main thoda question samjha du so let's take 1 2 to 1 as the next example to so, thoda example leke samjha deta hu 1 2 2 1 and k is given as 1 so let's uh, let's just deep dive so if i'm if i'm giving you this if i'm giving you this So they want the pair which is i lesser than j. So probably uh, if you take this one and this two and you write one two modulo, that's that's giving you one. So that is what they require. So this is one pair. Okay. So the other pair can be this 
and this. This can also be called as one more pair. So if you write one minus two, again, if you do a modulo, you will get one. So that's one more pair. So again, if I talk about this can be another pair because two minus one on this will give you one. Again, if I talk about, I can say this two and this one can be a pair. Two minus one can be equal to one. So these are the pairs that I can talk about. Okay. So if I talk about the uh, simple brute force, uh, the simple brute force is very simple. Like you have to just write this. So if you just write this, uh, this will also pass. Letting you know that this will also pass. Why? Because the constraints are very, very small. But uh, So if you write this uh, and if I just uh, run this, I think if you see this, uh, this will also give you the uh, compilation error. Kya bhi? Achha, nums. So even if I just uh, compile this and run, and if I submit this, uh, this is also going to uh, give me, I think, correct answer. TLE nahi dega. Yeah, it give me accepted, but obviously uh, we are doing for interview purposes. So this is definitely not the best solution. Why? Because uh, it is it is something which is uh, n square. It is something which is n square. The reason it did run was uh, the constraints were very very small. The constraints were so small uh, so small that it got accepted. So what I'll do is I'll probably uh, probably uh, have some logic. Can I use something as counting sort? Uh, yes. So what has been told? K is uh, 99. That is something uh, which they are saying. The maximum number that they are saying is 100. Okay, K is 99. And the maximum number that they are saying is 99. So can I say this? Uh, can I say this? If uh, K is uh, somewhere around uh, 99, then uh, can I definitely say that? Uh, whatever a of i like one of the elements if i'm i'm writing absolute of a of i minus absolute of a of j if i'm writing this this one certain thing that one number has to be uh, greater than k right or equivalent to k makes sense uh, how many of you agree with this like how many of you are on the same page one number has to be uh, greater than or equal to k for that reason do you agree with me are you on the same page as i am i am the same page as i am one number has to be greater than equal to k because uh, if this number is greater than k then only you'll subtract something in order to get it like one one of these numbers has to be greater than equal to k correct ek number to bada hoga k se ye to main samajh chuka so what i know is if i can start from k plus 1 until how long? Till how long? I know one thing. I know one thing. These numbers can be uh, somewhere around 100. Anyways, up chat. Check it out. I think that is now. I think I'm back now. I think I'm back now. I think I'm back now. Am I back? Am I back? I'm back. Are you? Are you? Ah, Kolkata. Me, I have internet ka issue. Barish ho raha hai na. Is barish ho raha hai Kolkata me. Okay. So for people who have not understood, I'll tell you. Dekho. Bahut simple hai. Abhi tumko kya kar karna hai? Let's understand. Uh, you have to do a ma a i minus a of j absolute equal to equal to k is what you have to do, right? a i minus a of j equal to equal to k is what you have to do. Now, you know one thing, you know one thing, if you have to make something equal to equal to k, like for an example, if I take this k as 3, for an example, if I take this k as 3, either this guy has to be something that's greater than 3. 
that's very understandable assume it to be 5 then then the other thing will definitely be lesser than k agreed then the other thing will definitely be lesser than k correct so this thing has to be like one of the things has to be greater than k and the other thing has to be lesser than k like in this case it will be 5 minus 2 one thing has to be greater than k that's that is that is definitely sure agreed now what is the concept of one thing has to be greater and one thing has to be smaller hey, both cannot be lesser than k both cannot be lesser than k and similarly both cannot be uh, something which is uh, both can be greater than k but you need to understand both cannot be lesser than k okay both can be greater than k both can be greater than k or like at least one has to be greater than k so i have come to a conclusion that at least one has to be greater than k okay but both cannot be lesser than k one has to be greater than k or two can be greater than k but both cannot be lesser than k that is something which i definitely know is yes, that is something which i definitely know like for an example over here even if i take 8 even i take 5 8 minus 5 will come out to be 3 8 minus 5 will come out to be 3 right so even if i take two greater numbers that will still work so what my idea will be what my idea will be is to take a number which is starting from k plus 1 and what do you know the constraints told you that the number can be maximum till 100 go on till 100 right and assume this is i so if one of the numbers is i the other number is definitely going to be k uh, i think minus i yes the other number is definitely going to be k minus i is that understandable or i minus k you can take it the other way too or you can take i minus k dono bhi chalega i minus k hi better hoga Haan, i minus k hi better hoga ulta jayega to minus k ho jayega is this clear if one of the numbers is i the other number is i minus k clear hai? is this clear is this clear so i'll take this example i'll take this example of 1 comma 2 comma 2 comma 1 okay let's take this example let's take this example of uh, 1 comma 2 comma uh, 2 comma 1 okay so this example may what do we have i know k is 1 so what we will start is we'll start with 2 only 2 till we will go on till 100 okay we will go on till 100 now if i know that how many occurrences of, of 2 are there how many occurrences of 2 are there so what's the other occurrence that i need i need 2 minus 1 that's 1 because if 1 is 2 if 1 is 2 the other one has to be 1 so if i know that the first element is 2 what's the occurrence of 2 that's 2 what's the occurrence of 1 that's 2 so in total how many pairs will be there can i say there will be 4 pairs ye do bande hain ye do bande hain dono ke total kitne honge do 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 duna do char bande samajh mein aa gaya kaise karoge samajh mein aa gaya ha bol do fatafat agar samajh mein aa gaya tell me yes if you have understood tell me yes if you have understood this right bahut simple hai kyunki agar dekho bahut simple hai dekho agar 2 cross 2 do bar hai 1 cross 1 do bar hai ye 2 ye 1 ke sath jayega ek bar ye 2 ye 1 ke sath jayega ek bar this 2 will go with this one once this 2 will go with this one once so four pairs that's why 2 into 2 got it practice practice the more you practice you'll understand kaun sa sort lagana hai so i have understood that this is how it can be solved so i can see that the numbers can be up to 100 so probably i can uh, create a hash of 101 and i can put it as 0 so let's iterate on the number and probably i can say hash of number plus plus and uh, what i know is i will start from 
k plus 1 and I can go until 100 I think yes and I can say the answer will be uh, count or the, or the hash of i into the hash of what's the remaining I think this should work I think this should work it's a practice Arthur did not practice karoge jitne problem solve karoge now let's run this okay so it did run let's submit this should work okay it did work so what's the time complexity uh, it's a big o of n because we're using a hash map uh, which is definitely a frequency array and uh, the space complexity is big o of 100 clear one clear us up thing uh thing uh, yes oh could be yes could be just give me a sign that you have understood this so that i can move to the next question the next question is pretty pretty amazing the next question is pretty amazing Can I, can I get it, uh, can I just quickly, uh, okay, so on my idea, so on my idea, so dry run, kya, is my dry run, kya kare? what will I dry, do a dry run on this? This is simple, right? Okay, let's move to the next question, guys. Okay, perfect. So everyone has understood. So you have submitted one question for today. First question is solved. Let's move to the next question. So the next question was, this is an interesting question. This is an interesting question. I want you to read this question and let's see if you can solve this. Okay. So read the question. I'll give you uh, some time, like one minute. And after that, I'll, I'll tell you the solution. So uh, the moment you understand the question, guys, just make sure you write this on the UQ and also guys uh, you can have your lead code open you can uh, have your lead code open on the simultaneous tab you can also code with me okay let's code together you can have your lead code open and please make sure whenever I am submitting you are also submitting so that at the end of the class you'll be able to solve four problems okay okay try to go through this uh, try to go through this and then I'll ask people to add uh, lead code bi-weekly contest Like Kardana by the stream, you haven't liked the stream yet. Stream go like Kardana, stream go like Kardana. Okay, UQ, UQ, the moment you understand the question, UQ, understood question, that's UQ. And the original array uh, from the double derby. Now, how, how can you use Kardana? Uh, it's, it's a very uh, different question from Kardans. Kardans, Kardani, whatever you want to call, Kardan. Great, great Abhijit. Yeah, Gunjan, that's, that's, that's a good solution. That's a good solution, Gunjan. So I'm going to solve this uh, using map, but after that, really we can discuss a solution for binary search, which doesn't use map. Okay. Really we can discuss a solution using binary. My pad jam ho gaya, bade bade. Subha se bata hoon is ghatiya sa chair pe. Lag raha hai achha chair kharidna padega. Chalo. Understood the question? Okay. Let's, for everyone who hasn't understood the question, uh, let's understand the question at first. So the question states, the question states, uh, you will be uh, specifically given something like uh, an array. Like just understand this question at the first instance. You'll be given an array like this. It can have uh, similar elements. 
it can have uh, any elements like it's not necessary that it will be given the sorted fashion it can mean any fashion so you will uh, just as you might double it now what do i mean by double it once double is two threes double is six fours double is eight so that's how you double it so once you have doubled it these guys will be shuffled these guys will be shuffled now when i when i say shuffled what does that mean one probably it can look like anything when i say shuffle it might look like anything when i say shuffled it might look like anything it's not necessary that it will look like a particular type it can be of any type okay now the question states you will be given this particular shuffled array the question states you will be given this particular shuffled array so what i'm doing is i'm giving you this particular shuffled array and your task is to write a function you have to write a function which will accept this shuffled array and which will return this original array is the question clear the question is you will be given this shuffled array you have to take it and you have to write a function that returns the original array so just uh, this uh, is a google question this is asked in google you can find this in the interview experience tab of lead code in the interview experiences uh, tab of lead code you'll find this question of google this was asked in google so yeah now let's understand the solution Okay, uh, can you propose your solutions? Now you have understood the question, everyone. Has everyone understood the question? UQ, everyone UQ, right? Everyone, can I start with the solution? Can I start with the solution? Everyone, can I just quickly get a UQ from everyone? Let's quickly get a UQ from everyone. Okay, everyone, everyone, uh, handsome lagre over here. Shukriya, shukriya. <laughs> I just had a haircut, see. I'm very zulfe of nahi hai. I love zulfe gata dana of nahi. What I can think of is how can I get the original answer? Uh, how can I, uh, how can I, now you cannot sort and divide by two. So, for anyone who's saying, uh, if to sort and divide by two, while that not work is assume uh, the original array was a uh, one uh, four nine so if the original array was one four nine then the double would have been one four nine comma two comma eight comma eighteen so if you sort it you'll get one comma two comma four comma uh assume this to be shuffled one comma two comma four comma eight comma nine comma eighteen so if you if you if you say this is the answer that's incorrect if you say uh, if you say this is the answer that's incorrect so how will you solve this question how will you solve this question so let's understand how will you solve this question at first so assume assume this is the uh, let's take the array let's assume you're given something like uh, one four uh, two and the original array just assume the original array to be one comma four comma nine okay eight one ka two four ka eight 18, 9. Okay. Assume this is the shuffled array. Assume this is the shuffled array. So if I use a map, if I uh, use a map kind of a data structure, uh, will that work? Let's analyze. Will that work? So what I'll do is, what I'll do is, uh, I know, I know if uh, the size is six, uh, the original array, the original array is uh, going to be of a size three. That is something which I know the original array is going to be of size uh, 3. So what I'll do is I'll just sort it. The first step of uh, my will be to sort this. So if I sort this, I'll get 1, 2, 4, 8, 9, 18. Okay. To sort this, I will get. If I sort this, I'll get this. Okay. Cool. I've sorted this. 
Now what I'll do is uh, I will I'll create a map data structure. Yes, I'll create a map data structure, and in that map data structure, probably I'll keep the count. I'll keep the count where I'll say one occurs once, uh, two occurs once, four occurs once, eight occurs once, nine occurs once, uh, eighteen occurs once. So in the map data structure, I've kept the count. Now what I'll do is I'll start with the smallest element. Now I know I know one thing for sure. The smallest element will be a part of the will definitely be the part of the array. Do you agree with me or not? Do you agree with me or not? The smallest element is definitely going to be the part of the array because what's the shuffled array? It's basically the double. So the smallest array will definitely be the part of the array, right? ये ये सब agree करता है कि whichever is the smallest number that's definitely going to be the part of the array. Everyone agrees. So I will say this is one of my answers. I will say that this is one of my answers. So if one is one is your answer, so I know the double of that once double will never be the part of the array. Once double will never be the part of the array. So once double is no one but two. So two will not be a part of the array. Two will not be the part of the array because I know the shuffle will always contain one's double. Okay, I know that. So I've got one's double. So that's two. So next time when you come across two, you see that that two is actually marked as zero, which means it is a double guy. It was someone's double. So this will no more be a part of your array. Perfect. Next, I come to four. So I see that this is still marked. Hence, it's the first time. It's no one's double. It's no one's double. So I'll say this will be a part of my array. This will be a part of my array. And if this is a part of my array, the double of it, the double of it will never be the part of my array. So I'll say the double of it is this. That will never be the part of the array. Perfect. Next, I'll go ahead. So this. So the moment I go to eight, I see eight is marked as zero. So this will not be a part of the array. Next, I go to nine. I see nine will be a part of my array. And then eighteen will not be a part of my array. So go to nine, then go to eighteen, and that will be cancelled. I have so much. Did you understand? Did you understand? It's basically you just have to ma make a map. If you just make a map, I think that will work. And we the entire question was solved on the intuition that I know who is the first element. The entire question was solved on the intuition. that i know who is the first element and i used that then i use that and just do it okay let's let's do 1 2 2 4 ho to theek hai chalo kar lete hain ye wala example bhi someone give me an example of 1 2 2 4 white was excluded because 4 was a part of the array right force double was 8 that's why it was excluded someone has given a, a very good example Let's try that. So if one, two, two, four. If there is one, two, two, four. So let's have the let's. Yes, yes. Let's have let's let's have uh, one. So let's assume this is the original array. This is the original array. So if I double it and shuffle, it will be one comma two comma two comma four. One's double will be two. Two's double will be four. Two's double will be four. Four's double will be eight. So assume, assume this is given to you. So the sorted version, the sorted version will be one, two, 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 four, 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 and another eight. So that will be the uh, sorted version. Now what you'll do is you will create a map. Yes, you will create a map. You say one occurs once, two occurs thrice, four occurs thrice, eight occurs once. Okay, eight occurs once. now let's get started so i'm at 1 so how many elements are there i know there will be four elements into my answer i definitely know that there will be four elements into my answer something i know for certain is one is a part one is a part who is one's double that's two so one occurrence of two one occurrence of two will not be a part so that will be reduced to two one occurrence of two will not be a part so that will be reduced to Two perfect. Next, I go to two and two says, "Oh, boy, 
मेरा तो अभी भी ऑकरेंस पड़ा हुआ है आई स्टिल हैव माय ऑकरेंस सो इफ आई स्टिल हैव माय ऑकरेंस आई विल से ओके दिस कैन बी अ पार्ट ऑफ माय आंसर सो आई विल टेक दिस गाय आल्सो दिस स्टिल कैन बी अ पार्ट ऑफ माय आंसर बिकॉज़ आई स्टिल हैव ऑकरेंसेस व्हाट इज टू डबल टू डबल इज नथिंग बट फोर फोर सो फोर्स वन ऑकरेंस विल बी रिड्यूस्ड परफेक्ट नेक्स्ट आई गो टू टू आई विल से भाई ओ भाई यू स्टिल हैव एन ऑकरेंस still have an occurrence right so what you will do is so guys just just do one thing uh just uh, my apologies just do one thing whenever you're taking someone also make sure you reduce the occurrence at the same instance so two ka bhi ek occurrence kam jayega so next time you come to two you see that it still has a occurrence one it still has a occurrence one so apparently what you will do is you will say that theek hai bhai theek hai this two can also be taken so let's take what's the double of two four Force one's occurrence will be reduced. Next, ये two का हो गया तो occurrence zero. Next time when you come to two, you see that the occurrence is zero. So this two would have been occupied previously. So you will not take it. Now clear? Now clear? Because this two was already taken for this one. Hence you deducted it. Next, you'll come to this four and you'll see four still has a occurrence one. So you'll take four. and then you'll reduce the occurrence next force double is 8 so 8 will be 0 so 4 is taken next 4 occurrence 0 next 4 occurrence 0 next 8 occurrence 0 so ultimately you got your array ultimately you got your array is this clear samajh nahi aata an academy striver ke waise chal raha hai yes striver nahi nahi bhai wo log bahut bade hai main main itto sa theek hai they are they are very big man You can say हाँ the coding वाला चीज तो पता नहीं coding वाले में तो हम लोग का views अच्छे आते हैं so yeah thanks all thanks to you we get a lot of views just make sure किसी को ले रहे हो तो उसके लिए count कमाओ if you're taking someone reduce count of a of i and 2 cross a of i that's very important reduce count of a of i and 2 cross a of i that's it simple as that shall we code shall we code Okay, let's let's quickly code this. I mean, I code it very fast. Don't worry, I'm a very fast coder. I mean, I, I type fast. That uh, that is the meaning when I say I'm a very fast coder. Well, you can keep a map of integer. Again, you can you can definitely take an unordered map uh, that will have a better complexity. You can take an unordered map in C plus plus. You know. Okay, so int. Uh, we will uh, start from nums, and probably we can go. Probably the first thing that I'll do is. a uh, sort a uh, changed a uh, dot begin a uh, comma changed a uh, dot end a keyboard kharidunga ye hath mere bahut aise ho jate hain aise dekho aise itna dur hai mera hath uh, so i'll do map of nums a uh, plus plus and uh, okay this is a uh, done what's the next thing that i'll do i'll probably create vector of int uh, the answer and it will be changed Well, I can keep something like int uh, length equal to uh, changed dot size by two. Uh, I can say answer will be length. Uh, uh, and I can just start off i equal to zero, i less than uh, changed uh, dot size, and then I can just go until i plus plus, and I can say if if just in case. uh mpp of i like this does not have an occurrence like if if this does not have an occurrence you can just continue and if this does have an occurrence sorry mpp of a uh, changed of i if mpp of changed of i after that you can reduce the occurrence 
you can say and so why don't you take uh this guy why don't you take this guy and why don't you just have a uh, two into a uh, change of i minus minus and why don't you return the answer and this should work i'm not sure yeah this should work i think this should work not sure but yeah like if, if my brain goes i think this will work if it fails we'll try to decode judging 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 oh wrong answer oh zero bhi hai kya zero aa gaya kya kyu aaya zero dekh lete kyu aaya zero line nahi jitna mas question why length equal to size by 2 because that will be always the answer right okay let's check it out why this went wrong is zero zero kyu aa gaya bhai Oh, uh -huh. I you push back. Yeah, yeah, I push back. I understood that. I understood that. I did did a push back. Sorry, sorry, my bad. I did a push back. Maybe the wrong answer. Right? Ah, so there is a zero. Hmm, interesting, interesting. For zero, how will we do? Six three input as a zero. So did it say uh, for zero change is not a double array? Okay, so there is a case where it says if the change is not a double array, if the changed is not a double array, return an empty array. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, it's very important uh, that we check if uh, two int like if this does not exist, then okay so they basically saying zaruri nahi like we i took all i always took the i always took the case where i assume that there will be an answer so we just need to take uh, if mpp of 2 into a uh, changed i exist okay if it exist uh, then it's okay if it exist then it's okay else you just uh, return a uh, something like int uh, dumb return dumb i think this will work uh, let's quickly take this case and let's run are yaar fir reduce bhi karna hai reduce karna main bhul gaya that is accepted uh yes okay cool uh, so you have done this right so by the way guys uh, did you how many of you code uh, how many of you did code with me how many of you did code with me that's very important how many of you did code with me uh, it's a uh, lead code bi weekly contest uh, the problem is 2007 find original array from double array How many people did code with me? Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so then one more problem. So we are able to successfully able to do uh, probably two problems. So okay, let's let's do the next problem, guys. Uh, the next problem is this is amazing. Okay, yeah. Uh, dynamic programming problem. I want you to read the problem. Take some time, read the problem, and the moment you understand, you know what to write. You know what to write. You Q. Ah, this is an amazing problem, guys. Ah, uh, it's an amazing problem. Like I, I am gonna teach you like a hell. Like is me, I jitna pada dunga na. Next one hour will be one of your best one hours. Ah, uh, for dynamic programming. I will teach you dynamic programming like makkhan makkhan. If you don't know dynamic programming, you can drop off. Okay. If you know recursion, you can stay. I'll teach you dynamic programming. If you know recursion, you can say. If you don't know recursion, drop, 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 drop. We will do all problems. 
Harshit will do all problems today. All the four problems, yes. Today, all the four. Uh, four, four. Ek, do, teen, cha. Yeah, it's, it's job scheduling, but uh, an advanced version of job scheduling. Perfectly. A greedy is definitely not apl uh, applicable. मुझे अपना क्वालिटी नहीं पसंद आ रही मेरा क्वालिटी क्यों गिर जाता है यार मैं इतने अच्छे क्वालिटी में स्ट्रीम करता हूँ मुझे इतना सही लगता है यहाँ पे यूट्यूब में अच्छा नहीं आता है ओके यू क्यूब द मोमेंट यू अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन यू क्यूब यू अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन यू क्यूब Okay, cost up. Amazing. Can you share your solution, cost up? Guys, UQ, UQ, UQ. Give me a UQ if I've understood this. Give me a UQ. Uh, not the extra. Uh, not the extra. I I don't see a direct. I'm not sure the extra might be, but at least for me, the extra does not comes up to my mind. Uh, n n log n yeah. Previous questions complexity was n log n. Uh, probably if we use uh, an uh, unordered map, it will be big of n because uh, collisions are very less in unordered map. What the WTF is UQ. UQ is understood question. UQ is understood question. Uh, yeah, kind of knapsack. Knapsack's idea will be implemented. UQ is understood question. That's our term that we will use. UQ. Uh, unordered ka jo uh, best time complexity like uh, wo big of one hai. and worst time is big of n and of unordered map it's not log n unordered map may collisions will happen if you take a pair kind of stuff or uh, like uh, collisions will happen if the test cases are very large and very collisions doesn't happen uh, rarely so unordered map is big of and by the way the constraints are small you can just use a frequency error in the previous question okay okay let's understand the question for people who uh, who have not understood just a quick so okay so the question uh, the question states uh, the question states uh, two calls Okay, okay, cost of okay, okay, perfect cost of. So uh, the question states uh, you're given uh, basically some queries or uh, over what would have they called taxis, taxis starting time, end time, and tip time. Start time of taxi, end time of taxi, uh, the tip of taxi. Okay, so n is given as five, uh, which base uh, specifically means there there are five points. Okay, there are five points on the road. Now the taxi can start picking off someone. Now uh, just uh, if he picks someone, uh, the profit that he will make is end minus like whatever is the end time minus start plus the tip value. End minus start plus tip value is the profit that he is going to make. So end minus start plus tip is the profit that he is going to make. Now there is a boundary. If the taxi is having a ride, obviously you cannot do two rides at a time. If you're if you're driving a taxi, do bande ko to nahi bata sakte taxi pe. Can you? You cannot uh, make two people sit in your taxi. So you can only have one taxi at a time. Now your task is to tell me how can you uh, maximize profit? Yes, I think uh, yeah, that's the question. 
Yeah, maximum. How can you maximize the earnings of a profit? Now over here, uh, either you will take someone at two, that is the taxi will take someone over here and the taxi will drop someone over here. So if the taxi starts from here, like if I say this is my taxi, he has to drop it over here. So he can definitely not uh, have this one. Either he can have this one or either he can <coughs> have this one because if he decides to have this one, the taxi will start from here and the taxi will end here for this one and he cannot pick this. He cannot pick this, right? So that's definitely not possible. So what I can say is that assume the taxi performs this. What's the profit? 5 minus 2 plus 4, which is 3 plus 4, 7. If he performs this, if he decides to perform this, the profit is 5 minus 1, that is end minus start plus tip, which is uh, nothing but uh, it's 5 minus 1, so 5. So I can see I have a profit of 5, I have a profit of 7. So I need the maximum profit. So what I'll say is the answer is 7. The answer is 7. Clear? Now clear the question. You have to uh, choose rights in such a way that none of the two rights overlap. Okay. You have to choose rights in such a way that none of the two rights overlap and at the end of the day, whatever rights you have you have chosen, the profit should definitely be maximum. Clear? Is this clear? Is this clear to everyone? Is this clear to everyone? Clear again? Fadavad bolo yaar. Clear? Question is clear. Okay. So how will you solve this question? Now, if you if you have uh, read about knapsack, uh, it's 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 a kind of a similar problem, like. If you have read about knapsack, it's it's pretty much uh, the similar problem to knapsack, right? So generally, when whenever you uh, uh, whenever you have a problem where you have been asked to have something like, why you have to decide, like you can only perform certain tasks. Whenever the question always states you that you have to perform certain task, right? At that instance, yes. At that instance, just a minute. At that instance. You always decide the technique of either you pick or either you not pick. Remember this, either you pick or you not pick. This is what you will always decide in uh, your like pick or not pick. Like for an example, we have three. Yes, we have three guys, right? So what can be, what can be the answers? You will say that, okay, hey, listen, uh, I am going to perform this. I'll be like, okay, so if you perform this, you can definitely not perform this. So that's not performing. Why? Because this guy ends at six, this guy starts at three. So we can definitely not uh, perform both them, both of them together. Perform this, not perform this, and you'll be like performing this. So you can have this one. Or you can say, hey, uh, why don't I uh, not perform this? I'll be like, okay, why? Uh, like I can perform this, okay. I can also perform this. That's also valid because this ends at 10, this starts at 10 and that's allowed. So this can also be a particular, particular iteration. So what I can say is for every element, there are two options. Either you say, okay, let's uh, do the strip. Let's uh, do the strip. Okay. Or you can say, hey, let's not do the strip. So there are two recursive uh, methods that I can say. There are two recursive methods that I can say. Either you do the trip or either you don't do the trip, right? So if you have done uh, the prerequisite is knapsack. So if you are over here, like a very plain question to you, if you are over here, how can you decide that you can do this or you cannot do this? Or if I just simplify the question, if you are at index i how will you decide how will you decide whether to uh, do the trip i or not tell me 
if you are at the index i how will you decide whether to do the trip i or not what do you need what do you need kya chahiye tumko you will be requiring something like if you are over here agar ye wala trip kiya hai iska jo ending time hai the ending time of this is 6 so you'll be like the ending time is 6 hence you cannot perform because the starting time is 3 and the previous since you did the previous it did end at 6 so you cannot perform this so if you are at any index i you actually require the previous end time of the like the the end time of the previous trip so that you can actually decide whether you can do that or you cannot do that agreed have you understood this what i meaning to say have you understood this now now i'll show you the small recursion tree and then i will start optimizing the dp solution theek okay? hai so assume this is index 0 index 1 index 2 so what i know is uh, i i will start at uh, the index 0 and the last trip that i did since i did not do any trip i can say that the last trip that i did was at f of 0 0 agreed right so let's understand so if you are at f of 0 0 okay if you are at f of 0 0 what options do you have on this you'll be like hey uh, let's do this trip or you'll be like hey let's not do this trip so there are two options that you can have if you are standing at a index of 0 0 you'll be like whether let's perform this trip or you'll be like hey i'll not do the strip so if you do the strip then you know you will move to the next index one yes you will move to the next index one and what will be yes what will be the last ending time so you will say you will move to one but since you performed the strip since you performed the strip the this particular trip was ending at 6 so why don't you carry 6 with you that's okay let's carry 6 so let's carry 6 and if you're not performing you will move to the next index and the last ending time will st still stay at 0 the last ending time will still stay at 0 because i am very much sure that uh, this trip was not performed hence uh, the last ending time is still 0 and since this trip was performed the last ending time was 6 so i can say at this particular i can have two recurrence calls that is f of 1 of 6 or f of 1 of 0 do you agree with me do you agree with me on this do you agree with me on uh, on this particular recursion yes or no do you agree i think you 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 will agree right okay uh, so going forward now on this first index can you do the pick let's let's ask ourselves can we do the pick and the answer to that will be no why because the last ending time is 6 you are standing at the first index the first index is this and the starting time of this is 3 so we can definitely not perform this because the ending time was 6 of the previous trip hence we cannot perform this so this cannot be done this cannot be done so there is only one other way yes there is only one other way that's not doing this so if you do not do this you'll go to f of 2 and you'll still carry the last ending time as 6 you will still carry the last ending time as 6 by the way if you don't know uh, dynamic uh, if you don't know recursion you, you should not watch this we don't know recursion you should not watch this okay now what i can say is at f of 2,6 that's at this position can i perform this i definitely can so if i perform this i will go to f of 3 and this time the ending time will be 10 so i'll take this and if i do not perform this i will go to 3 and the ending time will be 6 right similarly now it's time to go back because at 3 means i have performed all the trips trip 0 trip 1 trip 2 all have been performed hence i hence i reach the index 3 hence i reach the index 3 so if i talk about dynamic programming or recursion if i talk about dynamic programming or recursion can i say agar tum 2 pe ho if you are at 2 like if i'll just rewrite it if you are at 2 comma 6 assume this as a dp state assume this is a recursive call if you are at 2 to tumse pucha gaya you have been asked oh bhai jab tu second index pe gaya when you went to the second index the last stop was x what's the profit what's the maximum profit that you can make at this instance bhul jao sab kuch piche maine kya kiya i don't care piche maine kya kiya 
मैं पूछ रहा हूं भाई सुन तू अभी इंडेक्स टू पे है तेरा लास्ट सिक्स था तू मैं जो बता दे तेरा मैक्सिमम प्रॉफिट तो आगे तू कितना बना सकता है पीछे का मैं देख लूंगा इसके पीछे का मैं देख लूंगा तू बस मुझे आगे का बता तो वो क्या बोलेगा ठीक है आगे मैं ये कर सकता हूं या फिर ये सो द प्रॉफिट दैट दिस गाय विल मेक इज डेफिनेटली बिकॉज यूर परफॉर्मिंग दिस यूर परफॉर्मिंग थ्री द प्रॉफिट दैट दिस गाय विल मेक इज ट्वेल्व माइनस टेन प्लस थ्री दैट्स फाइव सो इफ आई पिक आई एल मेक अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ फाइव लाइक इफ आई पिक आई एल मेक अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ फाइव If I do not pick, I'll make a profit of zero. So, at two comma six, I know if I perform, if I perform the trip at the second index, the profit I'll make is five. If I do not perform the trip, the profit I will make is zero. So, which one shall I take? Which one shall I take? I know I'll take the profit of five. So, I will just go back with the profit of five because the maximum is five. So, this f of two comma c uh, six. Said, hey, sun. I got a profit of फाइव मैं आगे जाता तो मुझे सबसे ज्यादा प्रॉफिट फाइव मिलता मैं आगे जाता तो मुझे सबसे ज्यादा प्रॉफिट फाइव मिलता मैं बोला भाई ठीक है मुझे पता है तुझे प्रॉफिट फाइव मिलता अब लेट्स कम बैक यू आर एट एफ ऑफ वन कॉमा सिक्स सो समन केम टू इंडेक्स वन एंड सेड हे योर लास्ट योर लास्ट वॉज सिक्स यू टेल मी वॉट इज योर मैक्सिम प्रॉफिट सो ही सेट रुक रुक आगे 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 वाले से पूछता हूं आगे वाले से पूछता हूं तो उसने क्या किया ही सेड हे इफ आई पिक इफ आई पिक दैट्स एफ ऑफ टू सिक्स इफ आई पिक द प्रॉफिट दैट आई मेक ऑफ टू सिक्स इज सो इफ आई इफ आई सॉरी इफ आई डू नॉट दैट्स ओनली वन ऑप्शन दैट्स डू नॉट पिक दैट्स ओनली वन ऑप्शन सो दैट विल बी जीरो एंड एफ ऑफ टू सिक्स टू सिक्स विल से हे भाई मुझे पता है मेरा पांच प्रॉफिट है मैं आगे जाऊंगा तो पांच है तो एफ ऑफ वन सिक्स विल से अच्छा आई डिड नॉट सो जीरो आगे गया तो फाइव आगे गया तो फाइव सो आई कैन से जीरो प्लस फाइव सो एफ ऑफ वन ऑफ सिक्स विल से हे लिसन आई कैन ओनली गिव यू अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ फाइव एफ ऑफ वन सिक्स विल से आई कैन ओनली गिव यू अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ फाइव बिकॉज आई डेफिनेटली कैन नॉट पिक एंड इफ आई डू नॉट पिक मैं आगे जाऊंगा आगे इस बंदे को पता था कि इसका प्रॉफिट पांच है तो आई गेट अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ फाइव आई गेट अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ फाइव परफेक्ट न लेट्स सी नेक्स्ट एफ ऑफ जीरो जीरो विल से इफ यू पिक क्या होगा रे कितना मिलेगा रे प्रॉफिट इफ यू पिक सो ही विल से सिक्स माइनस वन फाइव प्लस वन सिक्स प्रॉफिट सिक्स मिलेगा बट आगे का और भी तो निकालना है आई आई हैव हैव गो एंड एंड फाइंड फाइंड टिल ना विल से अच्छा दैट इज नथिंग बट एफ ऑफ टू ऑफ सॉरी एफ ऑफ वन सिक्स एंड एफ ऑफ वन सिक्स विल से ओ ए आई हैव फाइव सो ही विल गेट फाइव so f of 0 0 will say if i pick the maximum profit that i can make is 6 plus 5 11 the maximum profit that i can make is 6 and 5 11 now there is a non pick term so you can do similarly over here and you'll also get something you'll also get something is this understandable how did the recursion worked how did uh, we considered all subsequences basically there was a larger problem i broke it down to small I broke it down to another small. Solve this using this. I solve this using this. I solve this, and ultimately I got the answer. So this is something similar to dynamic programming, isn't it? Did you understand? How did I break? How did I break down a bigger problem into smaller and further smaller? Clear, wa? And remember, uh, all the questions are generally of the pick and not pick format. So if I ask you the recurrence, if I ask you the recurrence, can I say it will be index, comma last stop, index comma last stop, and what will be the a uh, profit like at index comma last stop? What will be the aage ka profit? What will be the profit that he will make when he moves ahead? Can I say it will be either like either he performs? So if he performs the index guy. that will be uh, the ending minus starting plus tip if he performs plus f of index plus 1 and the last stop will change to the ending of index whatever is the ending of index and if he does not performs he will just go to the next with the same last stop and can i say i need the maximum profit hence i will take the max of these guys so did you understand the recurrence Did you understand the recurrence? 
I need a yes. If you understood. I need a yes if you understood. I need a yes if you understood this. Do you understand this? Remember, if you perform this, if you perform this, the ending index will change. If you perform this, the ending index is bound to change. Can I get a yes if you understood this entire thing? Remember, it's very simple. A knapsack, pick and non-pick. Pick and non-pick. Okay, so much. Okay, understood. So now I'll try to code it and slowly and slowly I'll tell you the optimizations. Okay, let's try to code this. Let's try to code this. Okay. Okay, US. Okay. So US for understood solution. Nice. We have UC, uh, US for understood solution. Now, US. Okay. Uh, UE kar dete, understood explanation. UE. Okay. We have UE. So if I try to code this, uh, if I try to code this, uh, uh, I'm not involving DP as of now. We will involve DP afterwards. As of now, the first thing that I am definitely sure of is uh, this is not sorted. This is not sorted. So it's very uh, intuitive that you sort it. So let's sort it so that uh, we can easily uh, write the code. Let's sort it. So I've sorted it. Okay. I'll tell you how to memorize. I'll teach you everything. Don't worry. So I've sorted it. Okay. Sorted the rights. Now I know n is uh, rights dot size. Okay, n is given to you by the way. Okay, so now uh, I'll say return uh, f of. Uh, I'll start with index uh, zero. Uh, the last stop is zero. I'll pass on rights. I'll pass on n. Yeah. As of now, let's pass on this. Uh, let's try to write a private function where this is int f. <laughs> and see a last stop. Uh, okay, vector of a uh, vector of int and writes and probably int n. Okay, so what I know is if the index uh, reaches n, uh, that's that's the end. So you can return a zero, or else what you can do is uh, you can either perform the job, right? You can either perform the job. Uh, so perform job can be zero, and you cannot. Uh, perform the job. So if you not perform the job, I definitely know it's a very simple index plus one. The last stop still stays as this and the rights can go on. Right. But perform job, perform job is only possible. Yes. And the perform job is only possible. If currently wherever you're standing, the end of that, the end of that, like if I call the end time uh, is that's rights of one. If the end time uh, you can say last, uh, last, uh, last time. If the end time, if the end uh, time is somewhere, uh, or, or so, sorry, uh, the start time should be uh, greater. The start time should be greater. I'm absolutely sorry. Uh, so the start time should be greater than or equal to the last time then i think you can perform or else or else you cannot perform so perform job will uh, contain i generally whenever you write production code you don't like whenever you write any extra function don't you don't declare it public you never declare it public the sole reason is because that is how you write code you don't want it to be accessible to uh, any outside world okay so you can say f of you'll move here and uh, the time will change uh, like if you're performing the job then i know there will be a profit and the profit will be rights of index of one minus rights of index of zero that's the start and end time plus the tip the tip is uh, i think two plus f of index plus one rights of uh, index of uh, i think one yeah i think that will be it and at the end you can uh, return the max of uh, perform job uh, comma uh, not uh, perform job okay that's what you can definitely return so if i just run it i'm just writing the recursion just fixing my recursion if it runs properly and then probably we can try to optimize okay okay compile oh, 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 oh. 
आ गए हैं run time error okay okay let's see okay where am i getting a run time error let's first check it out uh, where am i getting a run time error and then probably we can just uh, check it check future cases run time error oh, oh, oh. <laughs> because n is different okay n is different so yeah okay so we got our answer so we we see that the recursion is working fine we see something uh, that's very important that the recursion is working fine now what to memoize what to memoize so one of the things that will come to your brain is uh, why don't i uh, uh, why don't i memoize because there are uh, two parameters let's memoize index and last stop okay so a lot of you will think uh, why don't you create a dp of index and last uh, stop a lot of you will think that but uh, this will not work this will not work why because uh, like generally generally whenever you're memoizing uh, you see the parameters that are changing okay if you're converting a recursive solution into a dynamic programming solution uh, you always try to memoize uh, the parameters that are changing and over here the parameters that are changing are index and last time wait a second over here the parameters that are changing are index and last time so uh, can we memoize index and last time let's see what can be the maximum value of index uh, it can go up as large as 10 to the power 5 and the last time can also uh, go up to as large as n that's 10 to the power 5 so uh, you cannot actually memorize like 10 to the power 5 into 10 to the power 5 that's not possible so thinking across uh, thinking across fake taxi fake taxi fake taxi fake taxi is not here okay uh, I think we are doing fake taxi only I'm not sure okay uh, so you cannot memoize such huge numbers. So can you tell me how will you memoize? Can you tell me how will you memoize? How will you memoize? Any idea? How will you memoize? Can you tell me how will you memoize? 2D factor is not possible. How will you memoize? Tell me how will you memoize? That's a bigger thing. That's the biggest thing. So let's understand. Uh, do we require this index to be memoized? I don't think. I don't think. Because uh, if I'm logically speaking, doesn't matter where I am. If I can actually figure out his last topic answer. I know I am doing a trip. I know I am doing a uh, I know I am doing a trip where I say, hey. Last stop mera ye hai, iske aage ka answer bata. Will it make sense? Like, do I need this parameter? Do I need this parameter? I don't think that because if you are, if you're just having the last step memoized, last stop memoized, tum aage ka answer khod sakte ho. You can find the uh, front answer. Like if I talk about DP, you can figure out ki aage ka answer kya hai. Do, do you think that? Do you agree with me? Do you agree with me? Because if I know that I'm going to finish with 10, then the next procedure will be the same. If I start the index, I will do it from there. I will not memorize it. I know that I'm going to finish with 10, then I will start the next place. I know that I'm going to finish with 10. I know that I'm going to finish with 
तो उसको मेमोराइज करने का क्या जरूरत होता है डू यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस लाइक इफ आई नो माई टैक्सी इज एंडिंग एट टेन टाइम लाइक टेन इंटर लाइक टेन सेकेंड्स सो आई नो आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग एफ एल्स कहा टेन से ज्यादा टाइम है I am checking whose time is greater than ten. I am just checking whose time is greater than ten. So, do I need to memorize index because the index will be constant? If I ask you, the index will always be like we're definitely sure. If I know the last time is ten, if I'm starting the next trip, it's always going to be constant. So, do we need to memorize? So, so logically, if you just omit this and you just memorize last stop, that will work. That will work logically. Think. Do you understand this? Do you understand this? We don't need to memorize both. If you memorize just the last stop, that's gonna work. Taxi को पता है वो उसका last trip इस time पे खत्म होगा उसको आगे का journey वो निकाल लेगा खुद ही DP कर करके आना आना कर करके निकाल लेगा index उसको क्या जरूरत है index क्योंकि एक बार trip खत्म हुआ वो खोजना शुरू कर देगा भाई कहाँ कहाँ से होगा है कि नहीं थोड़ी उसको index देना पड़ेगा हिंदी में बताता हूँ अल्टली इन हिंदी देखो टैक्सी जा रहा है टैक्सी इधर है टैक्सी जा रहा है जा रहा है जा रहा है उसको पता है कि इधर वो खत्म होगा राइट तो ये सारे इंडेक्स को मेमोराइज करके क्या ही मतलब है मुझे तो पता है इधर खत्म होगा इधर से जो जो इंडेक्स होंगे वो सारे कंसिडर्ड हो जाएंगे सारे ऑटोमेटिक कंसिडर होंगे तो क्या मुझे कैरी करने का मतलब है भाई ये वाला इंडेक्स थ्री है तो थ्री कॉमा टेन कैरी कर जरूरत है क्या थ्री का वो तो सिर्फ टाइम से मतलब है मुझे इंडेक्स से मतलब ही नहीं है क्योंकि मैं टाइम के साथ खेल रहा हूं इधर समझ रहे हो गॉट दिस नाउ व्हाई डू वी नीड टू मेमोराइज जस्ट वन वेरिएबल दैट्स लास्ट स्टॉप बिकॉज दैट विल इट सेल्फ टेक केयर दैट विल इट सेल्फ टेक केयर वेर विल द नेक्स्ट ट्रिप स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द लास्ट स्टॉप विल इट सेल्फ टेक केयर वेर विल द नेक्स्ट ट्रिप स्टार्ट फ्रॉम लेकिन यू लुक एट द कोड यू सी परफॉर्म जॉब यू जस्ट कंपेयरिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू लास्ट टाइम is the index even used in your logic is the index even used in your logic apart from just computing is the even got it clear yeah. so what i'll do is i will say okay let's memorize according to the last time let's theek hai aur bhi karenge memorize aur bhi memorize karenge ye easy hai bhai thoda sa sabar rakho seedha solution bata denge to fir maza nahi aayega okay so what i'll say is okay let's memorize according to the last uh, time Let's memorize according to the last time. So I'll create a DP and I'll say n plus one comma minus one, and I'll pass this DP over here. So let's carry this DP. So I just uh, carried this DP, and I can just pass on DP over here, and I can pass on a DP over here. So what I'll say is, if if पहले भी कोई आया था बोला था मेरा last time बड़ा यही है. तो उसके लिए तो भाई मुझे अगर इफ आई हैव द आंसर आई विल रिटर्न दैट इफ आई हैव द आंसर देन आई विल रिटर्न दैट ठीक है आई विल रिटर्न दैट एंड ओवर हियर आई कैन जस्ट सिंपली मेमोराइज आई थिंक दिस दीज टू लाइंस विल कन्वर्ट योर डीपी सॉल्यूशन दीज टू लाइंस विल कन्वर्ट योर डीपी सॉल्यूशन लेट्स सी ओके सो इट इज इट इज लेट मी जस्ट सबमिट दिस it will run some test cases probably let's see how many test cases do run and then i'll try to further optimize this and i'll try to further optimize this the time limit exceeded uh, if i just go on to more details uh, okay so how many did run 67 out of 84 test cases passed so it did pass a uh, what if two indexes doesn't matter because logically if they have the same time you're going to perform perform not perform perform not perform so how will the index matter You're gonna try both them, right? Okay, so some test cases are passing. Now, how can I optimize this? Hmm, interesting. Now, uh, what are you doing as of now? You are saying index, uh, last time. You are saying index and last time. So, can you tell me how will you memorize this? Any idea on how will you memorize this? Soch ke batao. Kaise memorize karoge? How can you do this better? Can you uh, like since the times are sorted, since the times are sorted, uh, can you just think of something in terms of binary search to figure out which is the next index you should go to? Can you figure out something uh, in terms of uh, which is the next index you should go to? Think and tell me. Think and tell me. 
सोच के बताओ कैन जस्ट फिगर आउट वेज इज द नेक्स्ट इन नेक्स्ट दैट यू नीड टू गो टू एनी वन विद सोल्यूशन एनी वन हु कैन कम अप विद सोल्यूशन आर बी सुपर ग्लैड आर बी सुपर ग्लैड इफ यू कैन कम अप विद सोल्यूशन Let's think of a binary search. Like think of a binary search that might help you. Think of a binary search. The times are sorted, and you need someone who is just greater. So can't you? As of now, what is happening? He is jumping index, 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 and finding which is the next index. Is jumping index, 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 and finding which is the next index. Can you avoid that? Can you avoid that? we have sorted can you figure out which is the index where the start time is greater than equal to last time can you figure this out can you figure this out just tell me yes or no as of now it's just going on going on going on binary search yaar binary search the binary search is just a binary search isn't it No need to do upper bound; it will be lower bound. You need the similar last time, right? You need the similar last time. You need the similar last time, right? You need the similar last time. It need the similar last time. It will be lower bound, not upper bound. Okay. So now what I know is, I know instead of going like index plus one, plus one. Plus one, plus one. I will be smart. I know not perform job will be there. Not perform to will be there. That I know. Okay, that that is something which I know. But for perform, for perform, what I'll do is instead of this, yes, instead of this, what I will do is I will try to write a binary search. So I know at the worst case, uh, this might go on uh, beyond like beyond the last index like n plus. it might go on till beyond that right beyond the taxi cut trip line beyond the taxi cut trip line it might go so what i'll say is okay let's uh, quickly do a binary search so i know I'll, i'll definitely start off with the current uh, that's right of index start time that's uh, zero and i know the high will be the last cap that's right so uh, right uh, size uh, okay uh, So probably index, uh, yeah, index uh, is the low, and uh, the last will be definitely uh, right dot size. So, sorry, not mid. Uh, the answer. So let's try to do a, a binary search. So if I try to do a binary search, I know it will be like low lesser than equal to high. So I need the smallest. So let's have a middle where I say uh, the time like low like the index wise it will be high by two, and I can say if 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 rights. of the mid index the starting time is lesser than equal to the last uh, time is lesser than equal to the last time then this probably can my answer this probably can be my answer and i can probably look for a smaller answer or else this is definitely not my answer and i will uh, start uh, looking for a bigger answer that's uh, low equal to mid plus 1 okay so if i know if i know at the end the answer is not equal to i repeat if the answer is not equal to n plus 1 that means i definitely got someone yeah that uh, that definitely means okay answer equal to mid tha okay ek second okay that means i definitely got someone and if i uh, if i definitely got someone i will do the perform job at that index and uh, the perform job will say okay you got someone so why don't you uh, figure out so rights of answer ending time minus rights of answer uh this plus tips that's a uh, answer tips plus f of you will go to that index yes you will just uh you'll just uh, definitely go to that index because you're performing that so by the way you have, you have performed that you have performed that index so you'll go to the next index of that that's answer plus 1 and you'll say the last time this time will be rights of answer 
this will be the last time and what you will take is uh last time lelia rights le loge n le loge and dp le loge so if you take this uh, this should work if you take this this will work okay now the question is now will you still memorize on the last time that's my question will you still memorize on the last time because now the index is indeed a part of your logic the index is indeed part of your logic and now the logic previous logic was dependent on the last thing now are you dependent on the last thing no like you are finding the index but highly it's dependent only on the index because if you are standing at a current index so every recursion call on an index that means yahan to main job bana sakta hu kyunki hum call usi index se isko kar rahe hain jahan jahan job main bana sakta hu so whatever indexes i am calling i am definite that it can perform a job so my dp this time will change this to index yes my dp this time will change to index and yeah that's how you will do and over here instead of a n instead of n i'll say writes size because the dp has changed uh, to uh, the indexes that's how you probably can do this i'm not sure if this will work not sure let's see ah ha ah ha result zero aaya kya galti ho gaya let's see if i've done any mistake been a long code been a long day let's see oh ho oh ho ye galti ho gayi aapki index run karo not sure if this is correct but yeah let's i'm just trying out kuch to galti hui hai kya galti hui hai can can you tell me where where did i made a mess index is equal to equal to right size return zero dp of index not equal to 1 uh, this is not perform job okay perform job answer is right dot size that means you cannot uh you are standing at the index you are going to right dot size minus 1 yes the same the same i am using the same uh, dp ka knapsack i am using the same dp ka knapsack if you uh, carefully observe like that's the same knapsack that i have been using okay so uh, any idea uh, which will be this any idea on what will be this like anyone can i'm sure kaam maine galti kar diya hai dekhna padega to see this no okay 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 bhai sir galat kiya nahi bhai sir to sahi kiya uh, because uh, if the rights of mid time starting time is lesser than last time then i can definitely perform this and i'll just go on the left and try to figure out if there is a better answer bhai sir is to sahi hai let's see let's see thoda sa dimag lagate hain let's see how do i debug dp so i'm getting a zero okay so probably i'm getting an index zero not perform kar raha hoga not perform kar raha hoga and perform bhi kar raha hoga perform ka kabhi aaya kya yahan pe dekh lete hain let's see if if i've got a perform any day let's see if if i'm getting that perfectly okay so as you can see if i'm doing a run if i'm doing a run it's actually never going into the perform it's actually never going into the perform so probably uh, if i have 1 comma 5 comma 1 uh, okay 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 mhm mm oh ho no 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 sahi hai sahi hai sahi are wo yahan pe galti ho gaya tha यहाँ पे बाइनरी सर्च शुड बी ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू ना आई नीड द ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू ठीक है चलो एक तो सही हो गया अभी आगे का देखते हैं सो सिंस आई कैन परफॉर्म दिस आई डिड परफॉर्म दिस एंड देन आई मूव टू द नेक्स्ट इंडेक्स आई मूव टू द नेक्स्ट इंडेक्स फ्रॉम दैट इंडेक्स आई ट्राइड सो नाउ आई हैव अ वन आई कैन से आई कैन परफॉर्म एंड देन देर इज अ जीरो कुछ ऐसे आई डोंट परफॉर्म सो द आंसर केम आउट टू बी ट्वेल्व An expected answer was seven. Hmm. Okay. Answer is not equal to right size, so I didn't write answer one minus this. Okay, and this I said go to the next, and the last time is answer one. Max perform job and non perform job. Oh, where did I mess it up? Instead of calling answer plus one, call answer. Now why will you call answer? Why will you call answer? Because. Uh, 
because you performed that job right because you performed that job so logically you performed that job so is there a point on uh, calling that particular index i don't see because if i'm performing that job i should definitely go to the next isn't it in a performing that job i th i think i should definitely go to the next job so i mean matlab oi wala job to mai perform kar hi raha hu na to mujhe to matlab i'm not sure uh, how okay so i'm saying something else nahi 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 okay I need to think on this. क्या हो सकता है फिर मैं बोलूँ कि नहीं मैं ये जॉब परफॉर्म कर ही रहा हूँ ठीक है तो परफॉर्म कर जाओ लेकिन यहाँ पे गलती कहाँ है तो मैं इंडेक्स लेता हूँ मैं इंडेक्स में बोलता हूँ भाई तू परफॉर्म मत कर भाई मत कर परफॉर्म आगे चल जा ओके लेट्स डी बग लेट्स सी बग एनी वाई डिड यू मेमोराइज इंडेक्स बेसिकली सिंस ना द लॉजिक एस शिफ्टेड टू इंडेक्स द लास्ट टाइम इज नो मोर बिकॉज लास्ट टाइम पे इधर हम लोग कर ले रहे हैं so if i am knowing that i am at a index i am like whatever calls i am making for an index i know i can perform a job on that i know i can perform a trip on that like i am definitely sure that's why i did memorize index that was the sole reason now uh, let let me let me just try to debug this if i can i'm not sure if i i can but i probably i can try let's see index mid zero and so mid plus 1 लेट्स लेट्स क्विकली डू दिस हाई इक्वल टू आंसर इक्वल टू मिट आएगा आंसर इक्वल टू मिट आ जाएगा सी आउट आता है ठीक 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 है ओके लेट्स डू वन थिंग लेट्स क्विकली डू अ कस्टम टेस्ट केस एंड लेट्स प्रॉब्ली रिमूव दिस एंड लेट्स सी व्हाट विल द आंसर कम एज द आंसर इज कमिंग वेल एंड फाइन फॉर वन आंसर एंड देन प्रॉब्ली यू कैन ट्राई डिबगिंग ओके द आंसर इज कमिंग परफेक्ट फॉर दिस दैट्स इट्स पिकिंग अप इट परफेक्टली बट द मोमेंट आई ऐड दिस There's a problem. Okay. The moment I add this, there is a problem. Let's see where is the problem coming up. Let's try to debug. You have performed that. No, no, you have performed that job. Oh, who, who, who? No, no, you have performed. Na index aya, nahi perform kiya. And you have said that index ko bhi perf. Index ko perform nahi kiya. Acha, 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 acha. नहीं सही तो है क्या मैं इस इंडेक्स को परफॉर्म कर सकता हूँ कर सकता हूँ एंड अगला कौन सा इंडेक्स कर सकता हूँ उस पर जाना ओ हो हो ओके गॉट इट गॉट इट इफ आई एम कमिंग टू द इंडेक्स लेट्स परफॉर्म दिस एंड गो टू द नेक्स्ट इंडेक्स दैट कैन बी परफॉर्म इंस्टेड ऑफ गोइंग टू इंडेक्स प्लस वन ओके इफ आई कम टू दैट इंडेक्स परफॉर्म दैट एंड कॉल द नेक्स्ट इंडेक्स दैट कैन बी परफॉर्म या Correct, 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 correct. Yeah, if we do this, I think this will work. So what we will do is, yeah, up say you. So what I'll say is, I will perform the current index. Yes, I'll perform the current index, and I'll say the next guy that can be performed. Yes, the next guy that can be performed is a uh, definitely answer. Up say you. and this is the last end time okay ab chal jayega ab chalega bhai ab chalega 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 is not a valid are mai valid kuch de nahi raha main khud hi chala raha hu is not a valid type of
Oh, looks like it's uh let me see. Koi siga koi comment. No comments. Koi ni koi ni. Yo galat kora. Index pe karta hu. Oof. Hey, okay, cool. Let's. Uh, no, it's a long, long name. But chaa wala kuch to kuch to choda tha galti ho raha hai. Mujhe dekhne do. Why is it performing this job twice? That's my question. Twelve kyu aa raha hai? Twelve isli aa raha hoga kyunki yahan pe four plus five yahan pe seven bhi le le raha hoga. Dono job ko perform kar raha hai. Dono job ko kyu perform kar raha hai? Wo dekhna padega. Agar main end uh, answer ko rights dot size le lo, uh, to fir kya ho raha hai? Ag- I didn't catch that. Hey, तो अगर मैं परफॉर्म जॉब को जीरो ले रहा हूँ एंड एफ ऑफ इंडेक्स प्लस वन ले रहा हूँ एफ ऑफ इंडेक्स प्लस वन विल डेफिनेटली कम एज समथिंग बट वॉट इज हैपनिंग इज ओके समथिंग एंसर वेन एव आई एम गिविंग द लास्ट टाइम इंडेक्स तो द फर्स्ट टाइम इट्स परफॉर्मिंग दिस इंडेक्स वन माइनस या सेम थिंग टेक्स गट्स टू सॉल्व आई डिड नॉट सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम प्रीवियसली अदरवाइज जल्दी हो जाता बट कोई नहीं इंडेक्स वन इंडेक्स जीरो If I uh, put up a dry run, let's say how I do a dry run in such cases to figure out where the mistake is happening. Okay, one second, look. I'm going to do a little bit of my stable brain, so it will happen. It's not that tough. It will happen. Don't worry. Okay, I'm getting a zero. So what I'll do is zero. Pe aaya. Okay. Zero zero. Liya. Okay. Tip. Ko add. Kiya. Okay. Answer. Bola. Hey, how much? Let's see how many times it comes over here, and let's see how many times it comes over here. It makes you feel so dumb. I'll I'll give it a I'll give it a one more try. If it works, it's fine. Otherwise, we'll move to the next question. Huh? Okay, just a minute. Zero one two zero one. Two. Oh, boy, sir, what is going on? Was it coming as twelve? <laughs> Let's try this. Why uh, binary search? My target last time didn't work. Yeah, I'm trying that. I just felt like that. Yeah, I did a mistake here. अब रन टाइम एर रन टाइम एर का यार है 
डीबी ऑफ इंडेक्स ही तो हाइट कर रहे हैं तो राइट डॉट साइज कर रहे हैं माइनस वन कर रहे हैं इंटीजर ओवर फ्लो आ इट्स प्रोबेबली ड्यू टू लॉन्ग लॉन्ग का केस के चलते इंटीजर ओवर फ्लो हुआ होगा इट्स प्रोबेबली ड्यू टू लॉन्ग लॉन्ग इट्स प्रोबेबली ड्यू टू लॉन्ग लॉन्ग और समथिंग लाइक दैट प्रोबेबली लॉन्ग लॉन्ग के चलते ओवर फ्लो हुआ है इट्स अ लॉन्ग अच्छा यहाँ पे सी आउट भी तो मार दिया लॉन्ग लॉन्ग होगा आंसर इसीलिए अभी इट विल बी अ लॉन्ग लॉन्ग एस ओके बिकॉज दिस इज लॉन्ग लॉन्ग दस मेक श्योर एवरीथिंग इज लॉन्ग लॉन्ग करके रहूंगा इसको मैं आज तो मैं करके रहूंगा नाइस अच्छा था द मिस्टेक दैट आई मेड वाज आई वाज कंपेयरिंग विद लास्ट टाइम दैट इज द मिस्टेक दैट आई वाज मेड दैट 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 आई वाज मेकिंग आई वाज कंपेयरिंग इट विद द लास्ट टाइम व्हिच इज रॉन्ग व्हिच इज अपरेंटली सिंस वी आर वी आर डूइंग अ कंपैरिजन लाइक वी आर टेकिंग इंडेक्स दैट विल बी द लास्ट टाइम वेयर एज आई वाज टेकिंग द प्रीवियस का लास्ट टाइम लाइक आई वाज टेकिंग द प्रीवियस का लास्ट टाइम व्हिच इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड व्हिच इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड इट शुड हैव बीन इंडेक्स because i'm i'm finding index ke baad wala which guy can be performed so i should have compared with index i should have compared with index right cool ah so you can say i also struggle but yeah it's fine i hardly took 30 minutes that's okay <laughs> anyways uh cool let's go to the next question I even understood this, by the way. Uh, just because uh, there's no significance of last time, just because there's no significance of the last time, hence, hence, like if you just see, uh, you will actually see that there's no significance of last time. So probably you can you can also omit last time. I don't see a significance of last time now. Probably we can omit last time because I don't think there's a significance of last time. That's why, uh, like, I made it a one DDP now. You can really see, just made it a one DDP. Yeah, I just made it a one DDP. Nothing else. I just made it a one DDP. There's no significance of last time anymore because for every index, I'm finding the next greater. So no significance of last time, guys. There are no need of last time. One DDP. Boom, boom. Anyways, huh, let's get to the next question. That's a wonderful question. So, did you understand uh, how did I optimize from a two DDP to a one DDP? Did you understand that? Uh, by the way, did you understand that? By the way, सबको आगे समझ. How did I make a two DDP to one DDP? so remember this uh remember this it's very important that this is the way you should convert a 2d to uh, 1d always try to write recursive solutions and then see which parameters are changing and the parameters that are changing try to find this because over here if i can just figure out which is the next index i can take i can just do a direct jump and that's how you can uh, convert a 2d to a 1d okay can i get a yes from everyone if you have understood big of n solution big of n solution can i get a yes from everyone Okay, next question. Okay, next question. Let's try to read this, and yeah, probably we'll quickly do this. Uh, minimum number of operations to make uh, any array continuous. Please read the question. Give me UQ if you have understood this. Give me UQ if you have understood this. Our feeling is amazing, isn't it?
रीड द क्वेश्चन लेट मी नो इफ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द क्वेश्चन ठीक है क्वेश्चन देख लो यू क्यू ओके मैं शेयर कीजिए क्या शेयर करना है आई आई एवरी डे इट लाइक वन और टू पीसेस ऑफ दिस ड्यूरिंग माई वर्क लाइक चॉकलेट्स गिव यू लॉट ऑफ एनर्जी सो यू कैन यू यू कैन ट्राई दिस टोटल कॉस्ट टू आई थिंक कितना रुपए का है इट्स गुड यू कैन ट्राई दस पंद्रह रुपए का एक तो आता है दस रुपए का हाँ इट्स वेरी गुड वन विद सम वाटर विल अगर री एनर्जाइज यू फॉर द नेक्स्ट थर्टी मिनट्स वन विद सम वाटर मीटअप मीटअप करते हैं कुछ बड़ा अनाउंस होगा फिर करेंगे जल्दी जल्दी होने वाला है फिर करते हैं यू गिवन यू गिवन एन इंटीजर नम्स इन वन ऑपरेशन यू कैन रिप्लेस एनी एलिमेंट इन द नम्स विथ एनी इंटीजर ओके नम्स इज कंसिडर्ड कंटीजुअस इफ बोथ ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंडीशन आर फुलफिल्ड ऑल एलिमेंट्स इन नम्स आर यूनिक ओके सो Let me give you an example to explain you this question. Let me give you an ex uh, example to explain you this question. So, so if I uh, explain you, basically, uh, if uh, this is the array that's given to you, okay. So, what's the size of this four? so you have to like you can uh, take any number and you can make it any integer any integer negative positive whatever you want to make you can take a number and you can make it any integer so as you may make it 6 as you may make it 7 that's okay as you we can make it 10 you can make it 1 as long whatever you want to make it any integer you can take any integer and you can make it any one now once you have changed it all the numbers in the array all the numbers in the array should be unique All the numbers in the array should be unique. So I can say two, three, four, five. These numbers are there. All of them are unique. Now take the smallest one, take the largest one, subtract them, and you get three. So you got three, and the size n was four. So if you get three, that's one lesser than four. That's one lesser than four. Then it's okay. Then it is correct. Then it is correct. Now for something like The next example is one, two, three, five, six. So if you write uh, one, two, three, five, six, n is uh, five. So you want to have it as four. You want to have it as four. So probably you can try uh, taking like changing any number to any one. Uh, like that's the question, I guess. In one operations, you can replace any element in nums with any integer. Any integer. So assume I say that uh, this is not contagious definitely because the highest is six, the minimum is one. So six minus one is five, but I want four. I want four. So this is definitely not contagious. So what I can do probably is I can convert this to four. So if I convert this to four, now the maximum will be five and the minimum will be one and the difference of them will be four. Now the maximum will be five and the minimum will be one and the difference of them will be four. hence i can say that i required one operation i required one operation to make this contagious to make this contagious is that clear why contagious because sensibly sensibly uh, if you write them down it's 1 2 3 4 5 and this is contagious only and this is contagious only isn't it that's why because unless and until the array is contagious unless and until the array is contagious you will never get maximum minus minimum to be equal to equal to n minus 1 unless and until your array is contagious is the question clear is the question clear 
क्लियर है क्या Unless until the array is contiguous, you will never find it, right? Question clear? U Q U Q right? Is the question clear? By the way, like stream like नहीं कर रहे हो यार तुम लोग क्या बात है? Stream stream like like the stream. Question is clear, right? The in in order for the array to be contiguous, uh, what you require is definitely uh, something like this. So can I uh, can I say can I say uh, whatever array is given to me? What's your secret of being so energetic? कुछ नहीं भाई. Question कर लेते हैं. सोना इसके बाद. Okay. Uh, so can I say can I say? That like over here it's one ten hundred thousand. So if it's given as uh, like itna log dekh rahe bol kyun nahi rahe koi one ten hundred thousand. If it's given as that, what I know is I have to make it contiguous. So logically it should be one, it should be two, it should be three, and it should be four. Logically, in order to be like four minus one to be three, you have to make it something like contiguous. Make sense? Does it make sense? You have to make everything as contiguous. Make sense to everyone. Everyone, does it? Does it make sense? So you actually have to make the array contiguous. And if you are able to make the array contiguous, can I say that that means it's okay? That means it's okay. So if I if I if I just give you a solution and I'm like, it's it's intuitive. It's it's very much intuitive by the way. If I give you a solution and I say, uh. Find the maximum subarray, which is uh, which is contiguous. Find the maximum subarray which is contiguous, right? And just make sure, and uh, make sure other elements are like, for an example, uh, if uh, something like this is contiguous. Just like this is the contiguous, and assume over here you had a ten, or you had a zero. Over here you had a six. So just make sure you figure out the largest subarray which is contiguous, and uh, the rest elements can be changed accordingly. If you know which is the largest subarray that is contiguous, the rest elements can be changed and can be made to be a constant contiguous one. Make sense? Does it make sense? Does it make sense? If I can figure out which is the largest subarray which is in itself contiguous, then the left and right boundary guys can can be made sure, right? Is this is this clear? Is the question clear? ये वाला question clear है? समझा देता हूँ अगर नहीं समझ में आया तो समझा देता हूँ मैंने मतलब ऊपर से बोला है अभी तक समझाया नहीं है मैंने अभी ऊपर से बोला है आई हैवेंट येट एक्सप्लेन यू ओके सो लाइक नॉट एन स्क्वायर नॉट एन स्क्वायर इज जस्ट अ स्लाइडिंग विंडो इज जस्ट अ स्लाइडिंग विंडो फिगर आउट विच इज द विच इज द लार्जेस्ट पार्ट दैट्स कंटीन्यूअस एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट अदर एलिमेंट्स कैन बी चेंज राइट बिकॉज आई नो इट हैज टू बी कंटीन्यूअस इन ऑर्डर to give maximum minus minimum as equivalent to k like equivalent to n minus 1 it has to be like it's bound to be contiguous otherwise you will never get yes otherwise you'll never get n minus 1 that's very obvious isn't it aaya kya samajh mein aaya kya samajh mein aaya aaya Okay, so makes sense to everyone, right? I just need to figure out which is the largest. Expansion and contraction. That's what you need to do. You just need to do an expansion and a contraction. That will do. Okay, so if I if I tell you about the sliding window, it's it's very obvious. See, how will it work? Uh, or an example. Let's take for an example. So. 
we will consider duplicates afterwards let's take one more example uh, something like one two two four okay so i know there is a duplicate i know there is a duplicate so what you will do is you will just omit the duplicate and sort it so if you omit it and like that's what you'll get now over here yes now over here you know that this is the this is the longest part which is contiguous and initially n was 4 so if there is two guys which are already conse uh, consecutive if there are two guys which are already consecutive so you just need to change two elements you just need to change two elements right like make sense you just need to change uh, like uh, sorry one element sorry probably one element yeah you just need to make uh, if you just change one element that will work yeah one element so there because there's only one element that's remaining so if you just change it that will work so man Okay, uh, makes sense. Uh, someone is saying let J point to the first element. Okay. Okay, just a minute. Ha, ye wala thoda sa logic isko dekhna padega. Dekho, one and two are contiguous. Okay. One and two are contiguous. Now what I know is I need to make sure. Yes, I need to make sure I have a slider. Yes, remember. So if I just uh, take the duplicates into consideration, if I take the duplicates into the consideration, can I say? Can I say if I can have a slider? Can I see if I can have a slider which tells me that this smallest element, this largest elements, like largest minus the smallest is lesser than equal to, sorry, is equal to equal to n minus 1. If I can know the slider, I think that will work. Then the remaining elements can automatically be changed, isn't it? So if I just change the question, like, if I just consider duplicates, can I say the reason is since I know since I know यहाँ पे अगर मैं ये तीन ले लेता हूँ four minus one is going to give me three and I can definitely say I need three so which is the element that's left? There's one element that's left because the size of this slider is three so there's one element that's left so I can say the answer is one I can say the answer is one okay so the question is very uh, simple if I like uh, summarize it up you need to figure out the slider you need to figure out the slider since it's it is having duplicates such that the largest minus smallest is equivalent to n minus 1 once you figure out the slider that has a largest minus smallest equivalent to n minus 1 you can say the other elements can be changed accordingly switch case pe video many padata hai switch case sorry i don't teach switch case as I don't teach switch case, sorry. I don't teach. Anyways. So, yeah. Did you get this? If you just figure out the largest window that is giving you n minus 1 near about, then the other elements can be changed. Right? Yes, I agree. So, I don't know. I example not know. I अगर नहीं है तो चलो और एक एग्जांपल ले लेते हैं 1 3 3 4 4 6 ओके सो आई नो वन थिंग दिस इज हैविंग n 6 ओके दिस इज हैविंग n 6 सो द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू विल डू इज यू विल मेक दिस एज़ 1 3 4 6 ओके सो आई मेड दिस एज़ 1 3 4 6 नाउ व्हाट यू नो इज यस नाउ व्हाट यू नो इज दिस इज द लार्जेस्ट विंडो व्हिच इज हैविंग 6 1 equal to equal to 5 you know that this is having the largest window 6 minus 1 equal to equal to 5 and that's what you require so the other numbers can be automatically changed so 1 is here 3 is here 4 is here 6 is here so probably you can make this guy as 2 probably you can make this guy as 5 and they'll automatically fit in they'll automatically fit in this window because in this window the largest minus smallest is already equal hence jaga khali hoga re us window mein jaga pakka khali hoga and khali jagah mein wo sab dal denge samajh mein aaya aaya samajh mein is it clear abhi aur ek example lete hain samajhne ke liye let's take one more example uh let's take an example where i say 1 2 3 3 7 uh 10 okay uh this is something which i have taken and n is equal to 6 
So if I just uh, uh, sort it and write, it will be having 1, 2, 3, 7, 10. Okay. So if I ask you, which is like, if I just stand here, let's do this. If I stand here, I can say I require something equal to equal to 5. I require something equal to equal to 5. So from here, from here, I can take the slider and I can take these elements. Not beyond this. Do you agree? Not beyond this. So A contiguous again. And the difference is 3 minus equal to equal to 2. So I can say, okay, these three elements are correct. So I just need to change the remaining elements. How many remaining elements are there? So three more elements have to be changed. So this is the moment I can say I need to change three elements. Okay, let's go ahead. And probably if I say I stand here, then I can say uh, this is correct because 7 minus 2 is equivalent to 5. 7 minus 2 is equivalent to 5. Hence, three elements are in the correct position. Hence, three elements are in the correct position. So other numbers can rearrange themselves. Yes, because 2, 3, 7. Right? So probably I can put in 4, 5, 6. I think that will work. Or go try again. Yeah, that will work. So basically, I'm saying 2, 3, 7. Sorry, 2, 3, 7. So you can change this to uh, probably 4. You can change this to 5. You probably change this to 6. So again, 3 elements required. Similarly, if I go ahead to this guy, I will have 3, 7, 10. 3, 7. Sorry, I'll have just 3, 7. Why? Because if you take 10, that's not possible. So 3, 7 is... Uh, equal to equal to 4 so yeah so the you have to change four different elements did you understand up because you've sorted it so you know the starting you know the starting you know the ending you know the starting you know the ending right again you keep a bar contagious at the back you know okay what they living up not jaga okay look to see your looks classical example that's a two three seven the 2, 3, 7, a window. Hai. So 2, 3, 7, where in the window, I am sure. Because 7 minus 2 is equivalent to 5. So the other places will take place. Abhi kya? 2, 3, hai. Jaga khali hai 4 ka. So isko 4 bana dete hai. So let's make this 4. So this guy will be made 4. 4 aga. Let's make this 5. 5 came. Let's make this 6. So this is why, if you just take care of minimum minus maximum equal to equal to 5, other guys will take place because they are bound to be contagious in order to give something equal to equal to n minus 1. They have to be contagious. That's the intuition. Clear? Wa? Is it clear? Is it clear guys? Is it clear? Clear, clear, clear. Yes, click the photo, but to film my school code. Cut off. You just quickly write a yes. Okay. You can get last element with this window. Pay someone asked me last. I got last element with it. To fit two or data and ten or data. So, the size but out again. मुझे तो चाहिए कि पांच ही रखना है तो मैं बड़ा नहीं ले सकता मुझे ऐसे एक विंडो लेना है I have to take a window I have to take such a window such that the first and last if you subtract should be lesser than equal to n minus one I have to take such a max window okay yeah okay so let's quickly code this uh, it's it's a very straightforward code so really i can say the ma minimum maximum numbers that i need to change is this okay and probably i can keep a j equal to zero so it's very important uh at first you sort them so probably you can do vector of and uh okay uh, and n equal to nums dot size uh probably sort it uh nums dot begin nums dot end so once you've sorted it uh make sure you remove it 
सो लाइक देर इज आई जस्ट यहाँ पे एक फंक्शन है रिमूव करने का मैं दिखा देता हूँ so this is how you remove it in C plus plus STL like you just write uh, auto of last and then v dot erase ये last वाला so basically uh, if you write dot erase if you write uh, nums uh, dot erase and if you just uh, write this guy first like unique of v begin मुझे मुझे याद नहीं था वैसे unique of uh, nums uh, begin nums end and then if you just write comma I think nums end. This will make sure that it uh, it basically erases all the unique elements. This will make sure that it erases like it sorts it and then erases all the duplicate elements. This will make sure that it erases and uh, deletes it. Okay, erases and uh, deletes duplicates. Okay, so that 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 is what is done. After this, what you can do is probably you can keep a pointer as zero. Probably yes. Yeah, you can keep a pointer as zero, and i equal to zero. I lesser than uh, uh, the updated nums dot size, and you can go on. And what you can do is you can just keep on moving the pointer. You can just keep on moving the pointer till it is uh, not crossing over, and you can say if a of j uh, minus a of i is lesser than or lesser than n minus one. Uh, ha ha ha! Is lesser than equal to okay. Let me think. Yeah, lesser than equal to n minus one. Then you can move the j plus plus. So that that means you just elongate the window, and after that, I think the answer will be uh, mini equal to now. You know the window. Uh, so mini comma. Uh, I think the number of elements that will be required is, but the way elements. Uh, The number of elements that are left, इतने इस साइड के कितने एलिमेंट्स बचे हैं राइट साइड के बेसिकली इफ योर विंडो इज स्टैंडिंग सम है हियर हाउ मेनी एलिमेंट्स आर लेफ्ट दैट्स एन माइनस जे एंड हाउ मेनी आर हियर दैट्स आई सो इफ दिस इज द विंडो आई प्लस एन माइनस जे विल बी योर द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स आई ऑन आई ओवर हियर एन माइनस जे ओवर हियर एंड दीज आर ऑलरेडी ऑर्डर्ड दीज आर ऑलरेडी ऑर्डर्ड ठीक है सो अपन क्या करेंगे इसको n माइनस जे प्लस आई कर देते हैं शुड वर्क दिस वॉज इजियर देन प्रीवियस दिस वॉज काइंड ऑफ वेरी इजियर देन प्रीवियस काफी इजी था मतलब आई डि नॉट एक्सपेक्ट इट टू सो इजी काफी इजी था कंपाइलर अरे भाई तू ना मेरे साथ बहुत पंगा करता है क्या पंगा है भाई तुझे क्यों क्यों सताता है इतना आदत हो गया ना नम्स लिखने का ना वेरी बैड हैबिट ऑफ राइटिंग रीडेफिनेशन ऑफ जे ओके जे वर्स वेरी बैड हैबिट ऑफ राइटिंग ऑल दीज कोट्स लुक एट द टाइम दैट आई एम स्ट्रीमिंग मैन समन सीज गाली देगा भाई वो बोलेगा क्या कर रहा है पगला हो गया टाइम जस्ट फोर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व टू आवर्स फिफ्टीन मिनट्स विथ एक्सप्लेनेशन विथ एक्सप्लेनेशन टू आवर्स फिफ्टीन मिनट्स आई एक्सप्लेन एवरी प्रॉब्लम एंड आई सॉल्व या एमेजन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट के लिए लीड कोड काफी है डोंट नीड टू डू सी पी फॉर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एमेजन डोंट नीड सी लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वेन डू यू रिक्वायर सी पी so you will be requiring cp if you want to improve your problem skills up to certain level ki koi bhi problem that you can solve koi bhi problem so cp will help you to take up to that level ki you are not scared from unknown problems like you are a very good problem solver but if you want ki uh, for amazon for microsoft for that cp is not required for that if you do the common standard interview problems you get concepts from them like there are some certain standard problems if you get the concept from them then they will probably ask a variation of that then you can apply that concept right hence microsoft amazon uh, probably uh, adobe all these companies ask questions which are variations of 
existing standard problems so no need to do cp but if you're applying for something like google probably if you have experience of cp it will help even even if you can do lead code hard that will also work but for something like code nation direct i all these companies you have to be good at cp like because they will always give you a question which is not a variation which will definitely not be a variation of an existing problem it will be a completely new problem and then you will struggle because you're not so versed to solve ex like completely new problems got it if you delete the duplicates uh, since you're covering the range you that will all like the minus mein wo aa jayega na kyunki usko bhi change kar denge na ek bar wapas ja ke dekh lena aur mujhe samjhane ka himmat nahi hai so guys did you no this is big of 2n guys guys, uh, guys this is big of 2n i'll explain why uh, how many times like uh, the i loop uh, the i loop is running from 0 to n okay there's the internal loop running for j++ but tell me this i is running for big o of n this j is it always running from is it is it always running from 0 to n are andar aise chal raha hoga pehle chhota phir chhota phir chhota phir chhota phir chhota total it is running for big o of n that's a big of n plus big of n which is big of 2n because j is like when you, when do you call n square if you write something like i equal to 0 to n then you write j equal to uh, 0 to n over here j keeps on going an element every time every i time but over here j is only going across an element once j is going across once i is going across once so every element every element a of index is accessed once by i is accessed once by j so in total every element is accessed twice so twice of n is the complexity amortized amortized complexity aya clear hua is this clear complexity clear hai guys uh, thank you for watching till so late like i did not expect till the end we will have 100 watching thank you to everyone who has watched absolutely amazing thank you so much for watching thank you so much cool guys uh, good night please like the stream uh, share the stream if you're new to this channel do consider subscribing and yeah ghanti baja dena uh, there is a telegram group in the link in the description you can check it out you can also join my telegram group if you uh, want to be notified Uh, thank you so much for watching uh, let's meet tomorrow uh, i'm not sure if i'll do a stream tomorrow but yeah if i do a stream i'll definitely inform you bye bye guys take care good night let's have a good sleep now